Uh, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, it's definitely fast paced. There's always something to do, like endless uh, invitations to things, different events, then work and business school and training as well. It's definitely been a bit of a whirlwind the last couple of months, but uh, I'm really enjoying it. And the fact that when someone on the opposite side of the city says, last minute, do you want to come round for dinner? I can do it on the front and it's pretty good. Uh, we're having a great time with the Brompton so far. Um, my partner Sinead's travelling across different schools all around the south of London and the Brompton's given her the freedom to, to literally hop on with all of her gear for the sessions that she's running um, and, and move on to the next school. And for me, it's just perfect flexibility. We have two different campuses, um, a gym in another building. I can just dart between them. I can fit the training in around my lectures and it's, it's, it's really made the whole thing seamless. And, I've really come to love riding my bike and through the city and loving my commute as well. Get to go straight down the centre of Hyde Park and over the Serpentine and especially through the autumn like those, uh, the, there's the leaves started turning and the, and the sun started setting a bit earlier. I just got some amazing, amazing views as I came home. In the electric assistance has been incredibly helpful. Um, I have had quite a few people tease me for using an electric bike, considering I am supposed to be a professional cyclist. Um, I do normally then go on to explain that I'm a sprinter and I need all the help I can get, um, but it doesn't really fly. Uh, but that said, uh, I would not trade it for, for anything. It's been so helpful. I actually get to turn up to my training sessions fresh rather than completely gassed. Um, and I'm normally there on time as well, so yeah, I've been totally enjoying it so far. I have been using the Brompton app. Um, it's a lot of fun actually. It's got your speedo, it's got your mileage, and you can track all of your trips and see, see how far you're going to work and time it and everything else. It's, it's great to get a good gauge for that, but then beyond that, it has this great feature that I absolutely love where it tells you little milestones that you're passing on the bike as you're accumulating like at your total use of the bike. Uh, so it could be like London to Amsterdam or um, yeah, I think there's like Tokyo to Kobe and things like that. So like really you do get to see kind of where, where you're standing and uh, right now I'm sat at 730 kilometers which for, for two and a half months in London I'm, I'm pretty pleased with. Um, but uh, yeah, that's still not quite the 24 hour record for distance cycled, so I think I have some work to do. Yeah, generally speaking, really good. Um, there's actually, I expected fewer bike lanes than, than up in Manchester, but generally speaking, apart from one very specific borough that potentially I shouldn't mention, <laughs> um, it's really, really good. The ones I'm through, through a couple of squeeze points, uh, lovely bike path through Hyde Park and through Marleybone and, and uh, all around the centre of London and generally speaking it's been completely incident free so far and uh, yeah like my partner Sinead as I mentioned is, is she's making her way all around London on her, her Brompton as well she's never ridden in a city before and she's uh, she's she's aced it and I actually think the upright position the, the electric motor it, puts you in a, in a safer position for being more aware as you're making your way through the, the tight city streets. I am. Um, I'm, I will keep cycling through winter. I, I suppose the only excuse you have is that the gear you're using is not good enough. Um, and I've been fortunate to collect a vast amount of cycling kit over the years. <laughs> um, like new kit issues every single year. So I have no excuse. Um, and yeah, like so far, it's not been too bad of a, a, an autumn um, to this point. I've uh, only been a couple of days where I've come home completely drowned. Um, but generally speaking, it's been great and I'm gonna do my best to carry on the whole way through.